Hi guys, it's Anton Ratumak here, room living in Centurion on the lake and on the 16th of May um, one of my new gear, uh, Samsung Rod and Reel um, I lost over the rail there and it was gone so being a bit depressed about the whole thing and it was my birthday um, my wife in the meantime I made contact with Pim and them in the Pisces Predator in Durban and unknown, unknown to me um, my wife has left me with a gift which I was unaware of and I suppose you only get later but nevertheless um, the same goes you as well with it it's your, your, your ego that's pleased about your rod and uh, let's bless you with a kick button. So she opened the cupboard, get out, and there it was. My own kick boat from uh, Bison's Predator. Let's take you through the process of what we've done. I'm doing an unboxing of the Bison's Predator. Um, it was super chop, super impressed, and a lot, I could see a lot of thought went into designing something for our fishermen. Um, and I definitely was just as impressed. Uh, Pen and Emma thank them for it. And then my son wanted one, so I decided to buy another one. So this was almost the same day. Very impressed with Pen and Emma. I have to have a chat with them, they are so informative. The product is very, very nice. And I decided to take one of my own and pump it in the field with me. I decided to get myself some extra cover for the top uh, pontoons from the guys from Camera Tech. And also, very impressive. Both his good equipment is excellent. And a bunch of nice oaks. Those two oaks you can definitely count on if you want to set yourself up a setup like this. So yeah, it's my voyage for today after my boat complete and I'll keep you guys posted on this. Yeah, so yeah, I am guys uh, just got onto the boat as well and I've launched from our place down at Leisure Bay a little launching pad and let's see how we get about now so I'm cruising into the wind I think it's about two knots um, not full tilt on the motor on the strain at it's a first voyage run i want to test all the settings make sure that the depths and everything else is fine um, i'll slightly open it now just so you guys can see It's a bit tricky on 
the steering because obviously you don't have a hull or a rudder but still nevertheless it is quite manageable in any case you sneak up to everything so it's not like you need to go full tilt so give you a close up here um, just to make you aware as I've mounted the motor in the front because we had a raft and boats before it works like a trolling motor and that's exactly what you want and then obviously just your boxes that is by choice not complete yet but I've got a worm box in case any of the lures don't work uh, cooler box and fishing gear on the other side then obviously the rods and for safety reasons just an all and that's it guys so far this is what we got I'll keep you posted this is an overall view of the lake that we live on at Leisure Bay in Rasmus Park so here we've got like the motor as a normal trolling motor pushing me instead of pulling me and then we can go up to full tilt on this and have a look at it and see what happens quite nicely um, if I distribute my weight a little bit more it would come out of that plane very quickly and there I go and I reckon in the wind I'm doing about four knots give and take so that's the other way of doing it so there's Anton on his teak boat Flippers, not converted.